Two groups of scientists reported today based on close and constant examination, large parts of the western Antarctica ice sheet appears to have collapsed. The area shown here in red, scientists say further degradation is almost certainly unstoppable. They say global warming is accelerating the pace of disintegration. NASA's lead polar ice researcher said, quote, this is really happening. There's nothing to stop it now. These scientists say the ice sheet can add 13 feet to global sea levels slowly at first and over the next 100 years or so. In another important story today, scientists warn that a large part of Antarctica is melting and cannot be stopped. New evidence from the South Pole implies a big rise in sea level. Elaine Quijano reports. Researchers at NASA and the University of California, Irvine, looked at 40 years of data, including observations made from planes and satellite images of a glacier the size of California and Texas combined. Eric Renault is lead author of the study. And at this point, we'll say it's just a matter of time before these glaciers completely disappear to sea. Sea levels could rise by four feet, but not before 2214. It would open the way for greater losses of South Pole ice, which could raise sea levels by another six feet. Tom Wagner studies glaciers for NASA. What we have found is that it in fact looks like this weak underbelly of Antarctica is in fact starting to flow out into the sea and is not allowed to hold it back. Here's why. The land anchoring the glaciers sits below sea level. As ice melts, more of the glacier comes into contact with warmer ocean water, accelerating the process. What's happening is that as that ice is getting thinner, it's beginning to pop up off the land. And when it pops up off the land, there's no more friction to hold it back, so it speeds up. A 10-foot rise in sea level would submerge tunnels and subways here in Manhattan and parts of Queens and Brooklyn. But Scott, it would also put the entire city of Miami Beach and much of South Florida underwater. Elaine, thank you.